Hi Erin. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd. This past weekend, I read two books that I absolutely adored to the point of gleeful flailing and exclamations of joy and shouts of genius punctuated by laughter. The first was The Demon Surrender by Sarah Reese Brennan, The Light of My Heart. The second was Beauty Queen by Libba Bray. Now, it's kind of hard to talk about Demon Surrender without being spoilery, since it's the third book in a trilogy whose first book had a rather significant reveal at the end, plus um, lots of other twists and turns throughout the series. However, it is possible to quote it at people incessantly without spoiling them. They may be confused, but they won't be spoiled. Thusly, my Twitter feed while reading Surrender was basically a giant quotation fest, and I am now going to share a selection of my favorites with you even though you probably already read them on my Twitter feed. If you insist on killing people with paintbrushes, you have to get the tube home. Those are my rules. I consider them harsh, but fair. Is this No Shirts Festival Day? Every day with Nick is No Shirts Festival Day. She seemed to recall that Shakespeare had said a lot of things vaguely along the lines of, we should date. No more magically throwing people down the stairs. That is naughty. I hope you will take that as the gesture of goodwill that it is, and not the chance to chop my head off, which it also is. Conning people out of their savings, forgery, blackmail, selling real estate on Mars, we could have it all. As soon as this whole magical war is over, I'm going to make a few friendship bracelets and you will wear them everywhere because we are best friends. What, do I have something on my face besides good looking? Now, as you already know, but hopefully don't remember it too well because it was over a year ago, Demon's Lexicon, the first book in the trilogy, it was one of the books I used for my book talking assignment for my YA resources class. So I thought I'd dig out my note cards and do that book talk for you, even though I'm sure you had to listen to me practice it a lot at the time, and it could definitely use some improvement. Magic is real, and magicians are dangerous. See, to get power, real power, the kind of power they crave, magicians make deals with demons. Deals where the magicians get power and the demons get people human bodies they can possess and slowly destroy. Magicians are best avoided, but it's hard to avoid them when they've been hunting you your whole life. And when they catch up to Nick, he'll have to face his demons a little too literally in The Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan. Nick's not the only one dealing with supernatural forces. Chloe Saunders' total freakout at school gets her shipped off to a special home for troubled teens, most of whom seem more than a little weird, and she's pretty sure some of them are violent too. But her denial about belonging with the other kids is hard to keep up when the dead people she's been seeing just won't leave her alone. And then things get even more bizarre when she finds out that Lyle House has a sinister side in The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. Astrid's in denial about the supernatural monsters in her life, partly because they're supposed to be extinct. Also, most people believe that unicorns are sparkly happy ponies that go hand in hand with rainbows and fluffy bunnies not deadly beasts with poisonous horns and razor sharp teeth. Astrid doesn't believe her mother's crazy ranting about killer unicorns, really. That is, until her makeout session in the woods ends with her boyfriend getting gored by one. Ranting, with Diana Peterson. Of course, sometimes fantastic creatures can be good. Charlie's best friend has a clothes shopping fairy, and her arch nemesis has an all the boys would like you fairy. Charlie has a parking fairy. She can't drive, she hates cars, and she keeps getting invitations she can't refuse, despite all her best efforts, to go on car rides with the school bully. At this point, Charlie is desperate to find out how to ditch your fairy by Justine Largalefier. Okay, so the other book I spoiled about this weekend was Beauty Queen. Prep. A plane full of Miss Teen Dream contestants crashes on an island and the girls have to survive. There are also sexy pirates and an evil conspiracy. This book is absolutely freaking hilarious. Oh my gosh, so funny. So funny. Also, I love, like, every single one of the characters, especially Petra and St. John St. St. John. And it was really insightful and smart and looked at different facets of what being a girl is like. Did I mention how amazingly funny it is? Because it is very, very funny. So, that is my book review for June. Well kind of review, kind of lots of very talking about a bunch of books. But you know, review is shorter. Erin, I will see you 
on Monday.